sugar. I like it very sweet. And so does Yui. No, she doesn't like to admit it either. She told kids in our class that she drinks coffee black. And we still see her sneak extra sugar into her tea. You are. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I love you, Yui. And I love you too, big brother. Now, here's your tea. Drink up. Every last drop. I made this with my love for my two favorite people in the whole world. Thank you. And for you too, big brother. Drink up. Is it good? Mm, that's nice. Thank you, Yuka. <laughs> I'll take a sip myself. <laughs> Yummy. You too drink up too. Drink up, big brother. Do you like it too, big brother? This is my special tea that I made especially for you. It'll be a nice little treat before bed, I think. I put a little more sugar in than you usually have, because I think something sweet is really nice once in a while. <laughs> Thank you. You look happy, Yui. I've not seen you smile like that in a long time. You really do like it here with Big Brother. No, it's just the tea. It's delicious. Mmm. Really? Yes. I only came here because you wanted to. Yui. Who knows what kind of disgusting things could have happened if you slept with brother all alone. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Yui. Yuka. Uh, <laughs> but, I know you don't mean it really. You're really happy, really. Yui? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you can't lie to me. I'm your twin sister. I know every little thing about you. Clearly not everything. Tomorrow, can't. You'd get in trouble, Yuka. <sighs> then we'll have to get up in four hours if we go. Just one day. It's so cozy and warm in this bed. I don't ever want to leave. <laughs> Maybe I won't. Let's just stay here with Big Brother forever and ever. Not silly. You don't want to? No. That's a lie, Yui. Admit it. It's not. <laughs> then why are you blushing? 
me not. It's dark. You can't even see my face. <laughs> you shouldn't worry about everything so much, you know. It's bad for you. It's okay. It's just me and Big Brother here. It's okay to give in and enjoy things sometimes. We don't got to do this anymore. We haven't got to sleep in Big Brother's bed in so long. So we should appreciate this while we can, I think. Uh, you don't say yes? I guess. <laughs> I can always make you give in to me, really. Mm. Hey, big brother. The last time we did this, it was six years ago, wasn't it? I think about that time a lot, even though it was so long ago, and it's kind of silly now. I still remember every detail. It made me feel really, really happy. It was a night kind of like this, too. It was raining outside storming as well. I was really scared, see. And so was Yui. So we didn't want to sleep in our beds alone anymore. Do you remember, Yui? Yeah. Yui was different then. <laughs> She was actually the one that said she wanted to sleep in your bed. She was crying a lot. Like a little baby. You call her. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. So I held her hand. And I was really, really brave. We started to walk across the hall. And then, there was a really big flash of lightning. It was so scary, too. All in the dark like that. My legs were shaking really badly. I really remember it. Yui was holding on to my hand so tightly that my fingers went numb. Yuka was crying really loudly. Snot everywhere. Yui, now you know what it's like. <laughs> and then, before we could reach the door, you opened it, big brother. I've never ever felt so happy to see you before. <laughs> I just wanted to hug you and never let go. I loved you lots and lots in that moment, big brother. So much I felt like my heart was going to burst out of my chest. <laughs> and it was like this then. We all slept in your bed together. And it was so warm and nice just like now. I slept so well. I wasn't even scared at all anymore. <laughs> Me either. Because we had Big Brother to protect us. Right, Yui? Yeah. <laughs> but then, things got kind of different, didn't they? I don't really remember that part so well. It makes me feel 
sad to think about. Brother always said that we were too old to hang out now. To be together like this. Even though he was the only one who changed. Yeah. Boys change a lot as they get bigger though. So it's okay. We have big brother right now though. So that's all that matters. Normal teenage boys aren't stay-at-home meets who sit in their room and watch anime all day. Mm, don't be so mean all the time, Julia. You love Big Brother, really. Mm, you're just... Sundari. I'm not. But that's what a Sundari would say. <laughs> I'm not your stupid anime thing. <laughs> uh, I feel a little tired. But I don't want to go to sleep yet. Not when you and Big Brother are still awake. Yui. Aren't you tired yet? Hmm... Maybe a little. You go to sleep first. <laughs> Why? Because I want to have Big Brother all to myself. Since I'm his favoritest little sister. Isn't that right, Big Brother? <laughs> Don't give me that look. I'm just joking. I'm not that mean. I love both of you, so I'm happy to be here together. <laughs> Big Brother loves us both the same too, right? Hmm? You'd never have a favorite, right? You love both of us very much, right, Big Brother? Yuka. Hmm? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Hey. Big brother. Do you remember how much we used to always be together like this? All three of us. It was so normal back then. A long time ago. Well, I just want you to know that I miss you lots and lots. Doing things like this. Just hanging out. Really means a lot to me. So, can we be together more from now on? It's okay if it's not every day. Just if it's every now and again. School is really boring and kind of scary. Lots of people have been talking about strange things in town lately. Have you heard about it? It's all been happening for a while now. Another girl went missing this week. She was in our year too. And then last week I heard a boy was attacked by his girlfriend. It makes me feel really scared. I'm quite popular at school, you know, big brother. Lots of boys try to talk to me, but I always turn them down. So if something bad ever happened to me, you'd come and save me, alright? You wouldn't let you cook at hurt, would you? Or you either. You'd protect us, 
good at you from the bad, bad people outside. Just like you protected us all those years ago when it was storming. When... And if something bad ever happened to Big Brother, <laughs> I'd do anything. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for Big Brother. And for you too. But if someone ever even thought about hurting my dear, precious Big Brother, I don't think they'd be able to keep living anymore. That's a little mean, I know. But just the thought it makes me feel really, really angry. That someone would try to hurt Big Brother or take him away from me and Huey. <laughs> Because I love Big Brother so, so much. That's why someone is nice and handsome as Big Brother doesn't have a girlfriend. Because you have me and Yui, right? You don't need to love anyone else. <laughs> I really do feel sleepy now. Maybe it's the tea. <laughs> but all I really have anymore is Yui. And even though I love her so much, too, that makes me really, really sad. I feel so alone sometimes. I need my beloved big brother back. <laughs> like things used to be. And Yui feels the same, too. Don't you, Yui? He's not very good at seeing things like this. So I have to make sure to say it for her. Even if... Even if I'm really... Really tired now. You go. I'm right. Aren't I? I guess. I knew it. You're so shy, Yui. Because I really can't keep my eyes open anymore. Even though I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I just want to say. Before I fall.
always falls to sleep. We're finally alone, my dearest brother. Do you have any idea how long I've waited for this moment? Do you know how many years I've wanted to be alone with you? This is the day that I've been waiting for, for all of my life. You gone. Really is an idiot. She insisted on pouring the tea. And yet she still ended up jogging herself. <laughs> and she still ended up giving you the sedative. She had a 66% chance of either killing or knocking me out. And still everything went perfectly to plan. You're probably kind of confused right now, aren't you, brother? Well, <laughs> of course you would be. You never pay any attention to me, do you? And this whole time, you've been looking at her. I can't really blame you. Even if we're identical twins, Yuka's still cuter than me. Yuka's kinder, sweeter, louder than me. Everyone at school flocks to her, too. I'm just... Yui. <laughs> no, not even that. To everyone, I'm just... Yuka's sister. And nothing more. But... It's the same to you. It's the same to you too, right, brother? It's her that you pay attention to, just like everyone else. It's her that you love the most, just like everyone else. And maybe it's kind of mean to do this to her. Maybe you wouldn't have noticed my regret if you'd been paying more attention to me. She doesn't mean to act the way she does. She loves me too. I know it. But with you, Carl, <laughs> I'd never have a chance. I can't compete against her. It's this, or live my entire life in her shadow. I tried so hard to make you notice me, my dear brother. I did everything that I could to shift your attention in my direction. Even if it was just for a little while. It got harder as we all got older, as you started shutting yourself away more. Not even you, could get your attention now. But, a few years ago, when you were still going to school, I pretended to be sick and stayed off alone. I sneaked into your room and looked through every inch to try and figure you out. I found some <laughs> interesting things on your computer when I realized that you had a sister complex from all of the hentai. I was overjoyed to learn 
that she was such a pervert. But when I found out she also had a thing for cold, mean girls, I tried my very hardest to become one myself. Just for you. What's the term you used again? Sunnari. <laughs> well, I tried. But still, wasn't it good enough? I tried so hard. But even though I became the girl of your dreams, a cruel, mean, sundere little sister, that still wasn't enough. Not enough to drag your attention away from Yuka. Not even for a little. Whether you meant to or not. It was always obvious to me that she's your favorite. I guess the real world just isn't the same as anime. <laughs> but oh well. Everything worked out in the end. I had to take some drastic measures. <laughs> but I have you now, my dearest brother. From now on, it'll just be me and you. You still love me, right, brother? I know that you did, that you always did, of course. <laughs> but I'm tired of being second best to my perfect, innocent, adorable sister. She never realized how I am, really. I wonder if she'd realized she would have tried to fix it. Jealousy hurts. It must hurt for the person you love the most to not love you at all. But it hurts even more for the person you love to love you second best. Now that Yuka's gone, she's still breathing, but it won't be for long. The drug that I slipped into her tea will just suffocate her in her sleep. It's peaceful, so don't worry. She won't feel a thing. She'll die with her beloved big brother and Yui to her side, perfectly content. And I'll finally get to be happy. <laughs> so it's really not that bad, is it? Everyone wins in the end. You get to have the little sister of your dreams. I get to be loved by the person I love the most. And sweet little Yuka stays happily oblivious. Forever. I'm starting to feel tired for real now. <laughs> real sleepy. You look like you're struggling to stay awake too. The sedative I gave you was really strong. Just in case. You'll wake up in a few days and everything will be fine. I'll take care of you from now on. I promise. So, good night, brother. I love you.
big thank you to my patrons for May 2018. A big thank you to Cabs0328, Cameron Anderson, Knob Sacks of Hollandai, Alexander Greer, Elvis Lunch, Charizil, Deadpool69, Akela Aran, Curry on eBay, Suicidal Wombat, Shoulder Quad, Oak Power, Little Man Link, Emil Barnage, Curtis Linnell, Wallach, Sword, Rickardson, Jonas, Stop, Stephen Nagy, Callum Lott, John Nietzsche, Stephen Lux, Lucid Afflictions, Clifford Rockefeller, Kim, Tony, Charles Waitzel, The Potato Guy, Curzio, Shadow Wolf QC, Harwai, Matthew McDonald, and Stephen Ong. Thank you all for your support, and I will see you in the next video.